What's up everybody, it's your boy Matthias here, back at it again with a brand new video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make those uh, drawn texts like uh, in most of my intros I've been doing in the past. Uh, just start off by creating a normal text. Uh, I was making it for that nerd, so make the color white. Let's just put it back into the center, something like this. Uh, the font you can get out of of uh, that font. I will look one up for you guys right now. When you're at dafont.com, uh, you want to go to calligraph calligraphy or school. Uh, just put in your text right here. So you basically have a sort of preview of what it looks like. If you can't really find a good one, just uh, go to school because right here uh, you've got a lot of other really nice ones or handwritten. I think I'm gonna go with Vendetta. I already have it I think. Yeah, I already got that font. And I'm gonna do the nerd part right here. So I'm uh, going to make this 250 oh 250 just make it a round number because sometimes the edges will be sort of blurred again center it and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this nerd part a bit more to the side you will see what i mean in a second i'm gonna put the nerd part right here so uh i think this looks pretty good uh, what we're gonna do now is double click this and add a drop shadow. Um, for this I am going to put the background back to white. And what we're going to do is <clears throat> make this not too big because we are going to add another drop shadow to have a sort of sh um, 3D effect. So this will be sort of the outline. Oh uh, wait, I, f I think I did something wrong. One second, let me quickly change this back when not take too long normally uh wait so uh basically i what i did wrong is oh, no <laughs> i didn't do anything wrong oh my god uh anyway so i thought i had uh, the spacing wrong but i didn't however i am going to put this a bit more further back i think minus 15 would be good yeah, that way there isn't a lot of spacing between those letters. And again, let's make it 250. And just repeat the process we did before this. And let's just put this back right here. And again, center the text like this. Now let's make this white again. So we can uh, work on the sort of uh, outline. Uh, I wouldn't suggest making this too big. And put it a bit to the side like this. And add a, um, I don't know what it's called in English, uh, add a gradient. And what we do now is we convert this to pixels and add another um, few of these drop shadows. But make these your main color. Or uh, no, I'm gonna make one more. Uh, I don't know. Mm, no, I'm gonna make it like this color. A bit closer to this. And copy the layer style. Uh, wait. Copy the layer style and convert it to pixels. And keep doing this for... Uh, while so you get get this 3d uh, sort of um wait i am going to put it a, a bit more to the side i think yeah that i think this looks better so again just copy the layer style and uh, convert it to pixels and do this for around three to four times and then you will have a really nice sort of uh 3d background and what I'm gonna do is, we have these sort of blank spaces here. I am going to fill these up with uh, the same color. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a brush, make the it really hard. Just fill this all up and then we should have a pretty nice logo already. Now convert these two to, uh, these two to one uh, object. Uh, grab the magic wand and select this part. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a gradient uh, over it. So just select the gradient and change the two colors. I'm going to do light bluish somewhere right here to sort of purplish, I think, because that's sort of his channel's style. Uh, what I'm going to do now, we need to convert this back to pixels and add it a bit to the side like this, I think. Now what we can add, uh, wait. Another, I forgot something. 
we have to shift click right on these uh, parts because the magic wand doesn't select them automatically so just put a bit of time and effort into this to make your intro look a little bit better I am going to try and select those corners as well right here because this font has sort of sharp edges ah uh, this will be good enough I think yeah that should work so now let's add the gradient again, something like this. Oh, <laughs> we forgot more spaces. Uh, just keep adding those spaces. If you uh, forgot something, it's easy to fix. Now we've got a basic text that looks really good in my opinion. Another thing we can do is add another uh, line to it and make this pretty small, something like 10. Let's just get rid of this. And now we've basically got our logo done uh so sorry if this tutorial was a bit all over the place and if i didn't really sound um that active or motivated i'm a bit sick right now but i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button i'm going to edit this right now in 15 minutes and after that i'm gonna go to sleep because i have school tomorrow good night everybody